through the end users management app, an admin can create and manage users. You can also use it to assign and reassign roles. But what if you want to do assignment of roles dynamically or maybe via programmatically through an app? So in this video, I'll show you how you can assign roles programmatically. So this is my service studio. I'm inside a reactive web application. Uh, this is the same app I used to create another video just a while back. It was for extending the user's application to create your own end user management. So I dragged and dropped this user entity from system here, which created the listing screen for the users like this, and also the detail screen. I also have the password management there. Uh, you can watch this video. I'll leave the link in the description. Now, the topic of this video is about the role assignment. So if uh, you want to know in our systems here under logic, you have uh, a folder for roles where you can create roles. For example, let's say there's an application that has customers and it also has a role for maybe sellers, like a back end of uh, back office of uh, e-commerce site. Now in our systems, whenever you create a role, it also creates these kind of server actions. So checking the role, granting the role or revoking, and they will be there for both as long as you keep on more and more roles. Okay, now what we can do is when the user is getting created. So for example, if I go to the user detail page, this was the form, basically all the fields coming from the user entity. And then in the save logic where we are scripting password and saving it, before we create the user, before we create it, we can modify the server actions. Basically, the reason is these are server actions. Okay, so we I'm, I will not be able to call this from the client side. It has to be either called from another server action or since anyways, we have another server action going on here. Why not just grant the customer role straight away and then pass it the user ID of the newly created user. So this function here, the out of the box create and update user, it runs the customer ID of the newly created user. And there you go. So by default, now this user or uh, whoever account is created from that form from their screen will become a customer role because that's how it is here. Uh, second variation to this could be, let's say at a later point of time, you want to you know, modify or give him additional rights to become a seller as well. So for that, let me add one more column here. We can have a button to do the job like this and say, uh, make him a seller. Okay, so in this case, we're going to add another role to him, uh, which uh, makes him a seller as well. So if I go inside, in the click of the button this is the client action make him a seller on click uh, as i was saying earlier i will not be able to call the functions directly because these are server actions so i have to wrap this into a server action by creating a new one i can give it a user-friendly name for example uh, assign seller role okay and this can for example, have input parameter of user ID, so I can pass it from the client action. And then this user ID, I can pass to uh, the grant seller role. And the ID is the parameter that we received, it's there. Uh, if I need to revoke the customer role before doing this, even that can be done, it's the same customer ID that I have to pass. Now, the function is still showing, I mean, the app is still showing an error, is because now if I go back on the client action, I have to pass the parameter of the current user ID which if I expand, since it's a table, it's coming from this query and is the current field, current row item, which is this ID. And it should be okay. Let's go ahead and publish the application to see how it looks. Great, so I'm launching it now. Here you go, this is the app. So let's try the first one first. We'll create a new user. How about we call him Ant-Man, username Ant-Man, some dummy password. I'm going to leave some of these fields empty. They're not mandatory, uh, but date is. So let's give it today's date. Is active is mandatory and I save. So the account is created. To see whether it got created or not, let me find him. It's there. And if I access the end users management of our systems, let's see him there as well here. And let's look for Ant-Man. So this is what admin would see and this is like end user management now systems. The user is here. If I open it, I can see that it got the the first role, the customer role by default. So our logic is working. The, the logic that we modified to add customer role when the user is created as soon as it's created. 
Now I'll go back and make him a seller. Done. If I go back to the users management just to verify whether he got the role or not, just give it a refresh. And he became the sellers. Customer role is gone. Now he's a seller. And that's how you do role assignment and reassignment dynamically or programmatically. Thanks for watching.